morning everybody today we begin the last and final day of our is of and just workshop which has probably turned out to be the largest elizra hands on workshop conducted anywhere in the country uh, to date just can be expanded to joshi external stabilization system mr joshi dr joshi rather was a very famous surgeon from bombay who developed indigenous external fixators using low cost locally available technology the origin of just can be traced to victor frankel now victor frankel was one of the earliest students of israel and when he went back to start doing it in the Rancho Hospital in USA. They found that the shan spin pick fixation boards for Elizra were not suitable for their use. So they devised cubes. These hexagonal cubes had threads on four surfaces and unthreaded area through and through. So these cubes could be mounted anywhere on the Elizra frame. Nuts would be bolted underneath them, posts would be bolted above them, and through a smooth hole you could put a chance pin and tack in them. They used it for plasma film. During this time, Dr. Joshi wanted very small branch of cubes, so he used electrical plugs. If you open the plug and remove the back portion, you will find a small piece with the nut. So with that, he used put K wire on one side and a rod on the other side and attached them to make a very lightweight. external fixator primarily for hand and ct slowly his method became more and more popular gained rapid popularity and over a period of time from 19 and uh, 19 89 90 onwards it became an established method which is now being followed all over india today we are very happy to announce that with us we have one is dr lokesh maratha who is the original disciple of dr joshi was worked with joshi who was closely interacted with joshi and learned the system from dr maratha and the very good fortune is we have mrs sandhya kaushik who is none as but the daughter of the legendary dr bb joshi who is passionately involved in teaching this philosophy my very special thanks to sandhya madam because yesterday was the daughter's marriage the wedding party was over at 6 in the evening she has taken a midnight flight and come in the morning just to be with us and teach us So, welcome to Sandhya Madam and welcome to Dr. Lokesh Maratha. Let them start the JESS workshop. After the first lecture, the other faculty is right. All the faculty would like to thank the Stanley team. I think all the delegates also will want to thank the Stanley team for hosting such a wonderful conference. So that five minutes will deviate from the JESS for a word of thanks and giving uh, momentum to the faculty. There after we can get back to JESS conference. This format will be very similar to yesterday's format. There will be two or three talks, and followed immediately followed by you are shipped to the table where you will be doing the work. We are going to learn the use of jets in hand, use of jets in foot deformities, use of jets in proximal humeral fractures, and use of jets in intraarticular tibial plateau fractures. Over to Dr. Lokesh Mehta. Thank you very much, Dr. Prakash. for giving us an opportunity to teach the system which is very much near to my heart friends you have been learning for the last two days and it has been really very successful in idaru workshop close to it is a mini fixator which is known as joshi's external stabilization system in short we call it jess J for Joshi, E for external stabilization system. It is actually not a fixator; it is a stabilizing system. That's why it is not rigid. I must clear that it is not a fixation machine; it is a stabilizing system.
it is a very simple, light, highly modular, mini <coughs> external fixator system which systematically addresses a wide range of complex problems in the management of trauma, deformity correction and reconstructive surgery. Just started in late 80s when Dr. Joshi had the problem in managing the crush injuries of the hand. Those days, he felt that this, it, there must be a system to externally stabilize the crush injuries or the mutilating injury of the hand when he was working in the SI hospital, Mumbai. At that time, as Dr. Prakash told, it was a era of uh, external fixation system coming to the medical science or the orthopedic uh, to the orthopedic side. So at that time, he evolved this uh, Yoshi's uh, ex uh, this uh, uh, external stabilizing system by using the waste of the electric plug. This its use has been extended from hand to most of the fractures of the body, from mandible to the toe. And not only in managing the fractures, but also for the correction of deformities and for the reconstructive surgery. This external stabilization system has a very high safety profile and unparalleled yield ease of application. Any young orthopedic surgeon, even in the remotest areas, can apply this system once he is exposed to it. That is the beauty of this system, that it has a, a very, very uh, rapid, uh, you, 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 rapidly you can understand the system and the learning curve is, uh, is not uh, as uh, uh, slow as with other systems. It started as a small clamping device to hold a fracture externally, developed into a system which could hold mutilated hands in functional position, expanded to deformity correction when it was used for CTV correction, evolved to a comprehensive system which could handle trauma of both upper and lower extremity, which I already told, from pediatric to geriatric age group. It is how it evolved from the electric plug to a very comprehensive system with, with only few components and the most important component is link joint. What you need to apply this system is only few link joints, the K wires available with every orthopedic surgeon and the connecting dots to begin with. And if you have the distractors, you, you can apply it in complex conditions as well. What is the principle of this? The principle is reset the soft tissues and the bone will follow. That, that principle has been applied for the correction of the deformity. Elizaro has the principle of stress histogenesis and to it Dr. Joshi added the differential distraction principle. That is, we always distract not only the deformed side but the other side as well. In CTV, not only the concave side, the medial side is uh, distracted, but also the outer side that is the convex side is also distracted. That is known as differential distraction. So, in deformity correction, it is the gradual. It should be very gradual. Number one. Number two, it should be differential distraction. It maximizes the construct stability when we have the just design.
It minimizes the stress at the pin bone interface, decreases the incidence of pin loosening. It is very versatile. I told you that it can be used from mandible to toe. It externally stabilizes the fractures that are inherently unstable. So it can make the unstable fractures a stable one. Injuries being treated are complex and he say that Jeff has a simple solution to complex problems. So uh, friends, it has a wide application in fracture treatment, deformity correction and the reconstructive procedures. Just see that how easy it has become to take care of the mutilated hands once we apply a simple chest frame in mutilating injuries of the hand which was not possible even in my postgraduate days. We used to get so many hand injuries, mutilated hand injuries and the greatest problem was to stabilize these injuries let it be the crush injury of the hand or the foot. And now we have this system, beautiful system by which primarily we can apply the simple frame and we can stabilize the multiple fractures of the mutilated hand or the foot, but also we stabilize the soft tissues and we can take care of the soft tissues nicely. This is how we can achieve the functional position of the hand even the first day of its presentation by applying the chest frame. And the beauty is that this frame can be re removed very easily in the OPD, in the minor OT. Professor Joshi wish for Vidyadhan is being fulfilled by his uh, disciples and associates in the form of series of books with his monumental work and conducting workshops. We have conducted more than 150 workshops nationally and internationally. Thousands of orthopedic surgeons, plastic surgeons have been trained with this system. And we have the hope that many surgeons who read these books and attend the workshop will find the light of knowledge to guide them in their clinical decisions. Our aim will be fulfilled if you go back to your practice and you apply a very simple frame in your day-to-day -day, uh, surgery. Let it be a simple fracture or a complex fracture. You can address that with a very simple frame employing only few link joints, K wires and connecting rod. And the journey goes on. You can always innovate. I always say that the sun rises from the east and not from the west. So we, the orthopedic surgeons of the east, can always innovate according to our needs. In 1980s, the external fixation system which was employed in western countries was out of reach to the poor people of left developing countries, but Dr. Joshi innovated such a simple, affordable system which is now available with few hundred rupees and to the remotest areas of developing countries. If you learn methods only, you get stuck with those methods. So friends, you must learn the principles. And that's why, but if you learn principles, you, you can devise your own methods. So friends, try to understand the principles of external stabilization system. Then you can evolve your own uh, methods of treatment in, uh, in your day-to-day -day practice. Now, uh, I will request Madam Sandhya to tell you about the components. There are only few components. 